Are you watching Twitter and all the all the fans reactions right now to last night's fight? Yeah, I am. I am. What's the what's the sentiment going around? A lot of people are are uh, they have mixed feelings. Just about everyone saying I won the fight, you know. Um, and there was at one point I was the trending topic of UFC Tampa almost the entire night actually, yeah. where the, the sentiment was I got robbed. It is what it is, the fight's over at this point. I'm not really worried about, you know, um, the outcome at this point. It's over, it's in the past, and looking forward, moving forward. Do you think the judges kind of fared with him because it wasn't in Tampa? Is that I'm not, that's not my decision to make, that's not my call to make. Uh, do I think I was a little, uh, I was affected by some hometown bias? Maybe, but at the end of the day, it's on me for not going out there and finishing the fight. And doing what? Finishing the fight. Yeah, yeah. So you, you stormed out of the octagon. People, you know, why did you do that? What, what was going through your head? What was your in instinct to walk out? Well, we had already set our, our, you know, good fight and everything to their corner. There's nothing left for me to do. Why stay in there? I mean, I, they don't, every other person walks out of the octagon. I mean, yeah, I stormed out. I was a little angry. Yeah. I mean, I think most people would be in that situation. I think the one thing people that criticize me for that decision don't really think about and they don't take into account is the fact that we put so much into this. We put more into this than most people put into their regular jobs and half the things they do in their whole lives. And for someone who's never stepped in the cage before to, to take that away from you, it's, it's very disheartening. I understand that, man. And I appreciate the, the, the work that you guys do, and, and it's entertainment to the fans. They want to see a rematch. I mean, are you seeing that online? That A lot of people yeah. say they want to see a rematch. Um, yeah, I mean, I most definitely want to run that back. I think, um, I think, I don't think we need to do it immediately. I would like to, uh, you know, move forward with my career. I'm looking to negotiate a new contract. I talked to Sean Shelby last night. He said we're going to be in touch about renegotiating for a new contract for some more money. So I'd like to go through with that, start fighting some bigger names, and hopefully down the road we can fight again for some yeah. bigger uh, some bigger circumstances. I'm a huge Bob Ross fan, and uh, have you ever taken up painting or anything or watched some of this stuff and decided no, that... No, I, I mean, I don't paint, but I am a huge, huge fan of Bob Ross. Yeah. So one of my favorite things to do is just get baked and go watch some Bob Ross on Netflix. Happy trees, exactly. right? Exactly. Happy little you trees. You know, if you watch it, if you watch it, you can become a great painter. He really he no, teaches see, you. No, know? yeah, seriously. If you watch it, the thing is, you all, not only do you have to watch it, it's just like in a day. You have to uh, pay attention and appreciate the detail he puts in. Because if you don't, you're just going to mess it up, just like in a day.